Hi, it's Erin. I wanted to create a tooltip honest review video because I think it's really good for a multi different purpose. To use the tooltip, you will need to install the Chrome extension first. You can find the link inside of the tooltip software. When the Chrome extension is added, go to your websites and start to add as many as tooltip, hotspots, slide out, pop up, notification, bar, banner, and container. I know it's so exciting to add many things to your website. I personally don't recommend to add too many things to your website because this will look so complicated for the users to navigate your site. I added two active tooltips. I used a pop-up feature to collect visitors' names and email addresses. Of course, you can use a pop-up feature to run the events or showing information, anything you want. You can download collected email addresses inside of the tooltip software. When you log into the tooltip, you will find a project page. Under the project, there is the name of the project and domain names. I have only one domain name has added. You can click the domain name to check details. I activated only two features to this website. Click the one I collect emails and names. You can see impressions, how many clicks and how many clicks. You can also duplicate the project, publish it or make it a draft or delete. Right below these buttons, you can export Excel file to check more details. Audience will give you all data where, when, and which device your visitors clicked. Forms is where you can download your collected names and emails. Let's go back to my site. I also added the banner to show the coupon code on the top of my site. Let me show you how you can add image, text, button, and some features as I edit the banner. If you want to add a brand new tooltip, you can click either a plus or paper icon. But if you want to edit the existing tooltip, click the paper. You'll find all your published products here. I'm going to show you feature to edit. Mouse over to the product will show you edit, copy, and delete. I will need to edit this product, so click edit. You will immediately understand how you can start to edit. The image section, you will be able to upload your own photo or video. You can add a countdown timer and some stock images. For the text, you can click the text and start to edit your text bold, italic, style, size, choose colors of the banner and text, align, and add links if you want to. You can customize the banner height to click this arrow icon. Now the button. You can click the trash icon to remove the button or edit by clicking a gear icon. You can choose action to close, open new link, or show another campaign. And choose the font color and background color of the button. Next will be the setting. There are four different sections you can customize. First one is triggers. You can make this campaigns to show or not. To show the campaign is to click a certain elements, hover, when you load the page, page scroll, timer, or page exit. You can also set up to show on all pages or a specific page. If you don't want mobile browsers to hide the banner, you can uncheck the box. There are segmentation, scheduling, and styling. When you're done editing or adding a new tooltip, click done. Right below the save button, it will find a move down. The banner can be placed on the bottom of the page or the top. When you're done to edit the banner, click the save button. I icon will be a preview button to check as a live all campaigns. Right below the I icon, this button is where you can copy and paste the code to your website. To add the code to my website, I used to insert header and footer free plugin for adding code to, to my header or body. Now it's all done to set up the adding tooltip. Other tooltips will be very much similar to setup. For me to use the tooltip will be showing information, running some events, and current coupon code that my visitors can use. If you want to share anything about the tooltip, please feel free to leave a comment. I would love to know what you think about the software. Today, tooltip is on a lifetime deal. Make sure to find the link right below to check more details about it. I only purchased one code for 20,000 monthly active users. If you have more than 20,000 active users, make sure to grab a double or multiple option. That's it about the tooltip. I hope this video helped you find a high quality software deal please click the subscription button to check my other software honest review.